Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who unboxing. Yes, today I'm going to be hopefully unboxing the Doctor Who Series 6 Steelbook. Um, so yes, the way this video is going to work is obviously I'm going to unbox this, show you the presentation of the Steelbook, and then obviously show you all the Steelbooks all lined up together. Um, so this I believe is out in a couple of days time. The last Steelbook we had released was the Faceless ones, but the last new Series 1 was back in February. Um, with uh, series five, which was pretty uh, cool, one of my favourite still books actually, and obviously one of my favourite series of them um, for modern era. Through from the deep coming out um, in about a month's time, which is exciting. So, okay, so here is the lovely still book and a lovely little brown cardboard sleeve. So if we just slide that out, there we go. Doctor Who, the complete sixth series. Doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous? So the still book is free from its cardboard prison, and doesn't it look all majestic and? Oh, brilliant. Um, again, by the same artist who did Series 4 and Series 5, um, by Sophie Caldry. I think she's done a brilliant job with this. Obviously, we've got the nice sort of tally mark motif and the nice sort of green, sort of spacey background, which I really do like because I feel like green is sort of the colour um, for Series 6. And obviously, we've got the Talis, Rory, Amy, the Doctor and River Song there. A very big series for River, obviously. And again, um, we take a look at the back, the side of the release there. And on the back, we've got sort of a great sort of motif what's on the back of the steelbook, which we'll have a closer look at in a minute. Um, again, we've got the episode list. Christmas Carol, I really like. Probably my favourite Christmas episode. Then Impossible Astronaut and Dare the Moon, I absolutely love. And then Curse of the Black Spot, I don't really remember much about, to be honest. I've probably only watched that one twice. Um, and then we have The Doctor's Wife, very good story. And then probably my least favourite of the series, The Rebel Flesh and the Almost People. I just find those episodes incredibly dull and incredibly boring. Then A Good Man Goes to War, it's pretty good. Then we've got Let's Kill Hitler. Then we've got Night Terrors, which I think is quite underrated. Then The Girl Who Waited, I'm not much of a fan of, to be honest, because I'm not really much of a fan of sort of Doctor Light episodes. Um, and then we have The God Complex, I really do like. And then Closing Time. I think Closing Time is an interesting one in the sense that it could easily be the 11th Doctor's last story because it does feel like a bit like a regeneration story in the way the Doctor's acting. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of like Closing Time, bar the whole ending with defeating the Cybermen with love. That's a bit ridiculous. And then the Wedding of River Song, and then the bonus content there, the sort of additional um, little extras of the night and the Doctor, additional scenes, comic relief sketch, three audio commentaries, four monster files, the prequels, trailers, four Doctor Who Confidential cutdowns, and one Doctor Who Confidential A Night's Tale. Um, so if we take the steelbook out of the J card, um, so we get to see the artwork um, clean, which is all very cool. And take a look at the back. The back is great. I love that sort of with the Doctor sort of regenerating um, in the visor of the astronaut. That's great. And the silence, I absolutely love. Very creepy monster. And obviously we've got the moon there and Idris. So if we take a look at the little leaflet, so this tells you basically what's on each disc with the special features there. Um, which is very nice because obviously it comes in quite handy that, um, so that's always good to have. Again, I think that was used for the Series 6 um, sort of vanilla release box set, which I got. So this is the first time I'm seeing some of these special features. Um, it's great to see Confidential because I, I have such a nostalgia for Doctor Who Confidential. I would absolutely love just to buy a box of just the full Doctor Who Confidentials because I, I just have such a big nostalgia for it. Um, you know, because Series 6 was the last um, sort of series I bought as sort of vanilla releases. And then, and, and then Series 7 I bought the box set. So these still books are quite good for me in the sense that, you know, I'm actually getting um, the complete series for the first time technically. Um, so if we take a look at the disc, so disc 1 is a Christmas Carol with obviously the shark. Disc 2 is the silence, looking very cool. Um, I do love the silence. Then disc three we have Buzzer, I think, from memory. Um, it's been a while since I've watched that episode. Now disc four is Strax. Obviously I do like the disc art motif actually because it's done like the Doctor's um, cot, isn't it? Which is rather uh, nice attention to detail. And then disc five we have a corroded Cyberman. And disc six is the man himself, the 11th Doctor. And once you've removed the disc, you're greeted with the Doctor, Rory and Amy in the TARDIS in the astronaut visor. So here we have all the still books lined up. So we've got the two Zavi Peter Cushing movies, The Power of the Daleks, The Macro Terror, The Faceless Wand, and obviously soon be adding through from the deep. Spare from Space, Sharda, Series 1, Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, uh, The Special, Series 5, and of course Series 6 there, and then Series 9, Series 10, Series 11, and Series 12. And yes, the still books are coming along very nicely. So that is the Doctor Who Complete 6 Series Steelbook and I've done a bit of a Series 6 figure display to celebrate Series 6 being released on a Steelbook. 
Um, I'm quite interested to sort of revisit Series 6 actually. I'm quite interested because some of the episodes I've only seen maybe one or two times. So it would be interesting to actually revisit it, watch it as a series. Um, because it's been a while since I've watched um, sort of any Series 6 episodes. I think maybe um, I did watch Impossible Astronaut or Day of the Moon back in sort of January time. So it would be interesting to carry on watching Series 6. Um, and see whether my opinions have changed and whether I can sort of reappraise it um, because I do, I do have a bit of a soft spot for Series 6 I know not many people like it but I do have a bit of a soft spot for it because there are some good episodes within it um, you know I think one thing what puts people off Series 6 is of how sort of um, interlinked the stories are to the main arc of the series and obviously Wedding of a River Song for many people is a bit of a letdown um, but again I guess that's kind of a common trope with Moffat's series finales in the sense that they build up to something grand and epic but they never quite fulfilled but if you enjoy the episodes as sort of a standalone thing then you know they're great um, little additions really so yeah I'm very interested to give series 6 another, another watch and I'm probably going to start uh, re-watching that today um, and obviously I might do a video sort of talking about um, series 6 as a whole and giving my full thoughts on it as a series and obviously I might talk about the special features as well because you know I, most of the special features on this I haven't seen um, because obviously I bought the vanilla release so yeah I'm very excited to give series 6 uh, another watch um, because I do love the 11th Doctor because he's one of my favourite Doctors hence my channel name um, so yeah that concludes this unboxing video I hope you have enjoyed it um, the still book I believe is priced at uh, £27 um, which is pretty good um, you know for a complete series of Doctor Who and yeah so that concludes this unboxing video i hope you have enjoyed it and i'll see you next time so thank you much and goodbye